sure. Oh, I'm so You're sweat. So I was cruising online before I came over here, and I noticed that all of your fans are already wishing set lists on you. They're already writing up potential set lists. Have you? Uh, and and if, what would be on the set Pray list? tell. Well, they know they've got them in order. They have them all figured out. They know what they want to hear and stuff. Have you gotten anywhere in terms of deciding exactly what songs you'll play at this show? I think we know roughly what we're going to play. We don't know the running order yet, but we know sort of what we're going to do, yeah. The bulk of it. Oh, the bulk. And then just trying to form sort of some pivot points that sort of balance out the, the set and trying different things with some of the old songs. Will you be recrafting some of the old songs in slightly different arrangements? Yeah. yeah. What songs are you thinking about playing with a little bit? Oh, not Pan not are we? <laughs> <laughs> How about songs from some of your solo uh, careers? We'll be hearing any of those in this concert, or are you going to be sticking mm -hmm. to the material that people remember the band doing? Well, I think we're mainly Just, doing. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Lizzie might. Oh, maybe, maybe one. Maybe one. Yeah. We haven't tried it yet. No, we haven't tried it. We'll might be one of Lindsay's from the solo record. Any of your solo material, Stevie, or will you no. go with? Go with the band material. And you've written three new songs. Is that right? Yes, we have. Who, who, uh, did each of you write one? Is that yeah. how it works? Yeah. What, what, how, uh, were these each songs you had originally anticipated doing for your solo records and decided to try them out with the band? No. For me, no. I, I actually wrote the song that we're going to do, like, two weeks ago or three, right before rehearsal in Phoenix. I just spent, like, a week really, really specifically writing my song that I wanted to enter into the running of songs for the new songs, you know, so... Good job, we liked was, it. <laughs> yeah, because it was the one I wanted. I didn't want it. I didn't want to go into another group of stuff that wasn't meant for it. I wanted to write something that was meant for it. Is that because you could envision how it would sound with this band, or because lyrically you wanted to say something about getting back together with these people? Both of those things. Lindsay, how about your record, your your music for this? Um, well, you know, being that I was and in a sense still am you know <laughs> in the final stages of completing that album we you know working with Mick we ended up having enough material for like two albums really so uh, yes it will be something from that we haven't actually tried my stuff yet I was kind of waiting to see what was needed and what was going to pan out with the other two songs so we're probably going to get into that next week but it, it will certainly be something from that how about you, Chris? Where's your, where's your contribution? Um, but, well, I, I think mine was specifically for this as well. I mean, <coughs> I, um, I write in spurts, and I just coughed up about ten <laughs> songs about uh, three weeks ago, and um, one of them was I thought appropriate for this band. And I mean, I don't actually write specifically for Fleetwood Mac or myself. I just write songs, you know, um, and. I brought it down, I brought two songs down, and they, they liked that one, the one that we're doing the best, and it, it's, the words sort of slightly reflect, you could, you could interpret the words meaning about us, but the, it's actually a love song, as all my songs are, you know. John, how would you say I that? I didn't write one. For this. Uh, I'm, and we're disappointed <laughs> about that. We'll be docking you later. But he does great bass parts. <laughs> Does the, do the new songs remind you of the songs you did in in '76 and '77? Are they reminiscent of that, or do they sound? Yeah, maybe because the of the people who wrote them, is there still that thread through them? Um, and the interpretation, with the input, is obviously the same. It's do they sound like Fleetwood Mac songs? Yes. Yeah. Did they sound like Fleetwood Mac songs out of your pen, or when you heard them played for the first time, did they sound like Fleetwood Mac songs? Well, mine did, because when I was writing it, I was thinking, you know, of, of how it would sound when Chris and Lindsay would be singing along with me, so. And I don't do that that often either. I mean, I really wanted to write a song that was specifically for this time. What did it sound like when you heard it, Mick? Did it, it sound like it was... Uh, we we just took to it, you know. It was like one of those things that just this whole what what's happening here is just is is really it's you know it's almost strange answering questions because you you think well 
what is it? It's just, it just really happens. It has a real uh, energy of, it, of its own from the way this whole thing happened. And it, it, was, um, and it led us into doing what we, we do very naturally. And I think we've all been reminded of, of that. You know, whether it's, it's the songs and the interpretation. When these people come together, there is definitely something that is very, very precious. And we've been well and truly reminded of that just as people within this circle, and certainly from uh, people looking from whatever the outside is considered on us. I think there's, there's an amazing uh, energy, you know, and we're really becoming increasingly aware of that. And um, it's, it's a good feeling, you know. I, yeah, none of this, right. you know, in terms of, of the songs, and it, it just has a, a life of its own, you know. Whether it's the arrangement, whether, whether it's arranged in a certain way, it's a very natural thing that happens with us. Um, and it's only when you're asked very specific questions that sometimes you, you actually almost sort of screw it up by giving a, a lousy explanation that's very long-winded, like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Nick. <laughs> well, I think it might surprise people, though, that you didn't have to get in a room for three days and hash out everything. And you didn't have to say, I didn't no. like it when you did that in 1991. Mm -hmm. And I really resented what you did in 87. Mm -hmm. And I, my feelings were really hurt in 79. But you didn't have to do that. Why, yeah. why do you think you didn't have to do that? Because, I mean, because it, it happened. We, we, it wasn't just suddenly like we're in a room together. It happened in a very natural way, like Lindsay was saying. Just, it was a creative one and a, a remarrying of certainly me and Lindsay that led to all of this happening. Also, you know, it probably wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened if we weren't ready for it to happen. Absolutely. If, mm. all, if we hadn't gotten past all of those things that you're talking about, it, we would have stayed away from each you other. Know, I, I would have done two drum beats on whatever song Lindsay was asking me to play on, and I'd have walked out or something. It, it just it, it grew from, from there. You know, and it was, it was all very unformulated you know, in terms of, of it's a happen sense to it. And yeah, is that just, is, that, is that time healing wounds or is that, cool. is that each of yes. you sort of saying, you know, my feelings for these people and the music we made are bigger than the negative feelings I have? I think it's time healing wounds and each of us as individuals growing. Uh, that, that combination, definitely. How about for you, Stevie? What was your thinking about you can stay mad about stuff that happened forever you know and, and and in the long run who ends up suffering you do so it's like for me I just I just woke up one day and I just wasn't angry at anybody anymore for anything you know so the whole idea of being so angry with the members of my band that we couldn't record another album s seemed to be totally absurd to me you know like how could you have been so uptight so. People always saw the sort of, uh, you know, your lives being played out in your music somehow. Are you looking forward, in a sense, to showing people how the music stands up, even apart from <coughs> what people think may have generated it in terms of your interpersonal relations? I think I think it does anyway. I mean, I mean, just I mean, since this has all been happening, I've been listening to some of those old records, and uh, I think uh, it, it, it's so timeless these songs, that they, they, they all seem so timeless and fresh, and so um, well put together and so heartfelt that they, they just don't seem to ever age, these songs. So it's going to be marvelous to recreate them now, uh, you know, 18, how many years is it? 15 years down the line or something like that. Something like that. Almost. <laughs> What are you committing to, in, in particular? You're committing to a, a, a record and a, and a concert, obviously, that we'll be showing on television. Possibility for a tour? Are you committed to a tour? Would you like to tour? What's your thinking about that? Is, is we that we like going? to, absolutely. We, are, we yeah. are touring, I think, aren't we? Yeah, I think that there is a tour in the works. We haven't put too much thought and time into that part. We're really trying to do our, our little movie, you know. So we haven't really thought about that much. but. We're going, huh? I think the understanding is we're going on the road, yeah. I've got my bags. Thanks. 
Well, you can't hey, me too. Love to tread the boards. <laughs> Get off the boat and hit the boards. <laughs> and maybe a little farmer's daughter at the end. For oh. You are well informed, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. Okay. I remember doing this as well. Remember, remember. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.